This has been a highly requested and anticipated video here on YouTube, not just by you lovely people, but also myself. I love watching desk setup tours here, and I've been wanting to film this since the beginning of 2021, but I just never quite felt satisfied with my space. I moved to this home late last year, and I was starting out from literally a blank canvas, which was equally exciting, but also overwhelming for me. While I was really happy to start fresh and change things up from my previous setup, I wanted to get things done immediately, but working toward my dream setup will take time. So this is a work in progress and I've accepted that it will continue to be a work in progress for a while. So this space will continue to evolve and grow or even change through the months or years to come. Consider this version 1.0 of my setup tour. And as we go, I will try to mention the upgrades that I already have planned for some of the things in here. I'm probably already installing something new as you're watching this because I actually just bought a shelf I didn't have time to install before filming this video. Enough rambling for now though, let me tell you a little bit about my vision for this space and how I created it. Basically around the beginning of 2020, I started transitioning to working from home because of reasons. So my previous setup was used primarily for gaming and content creation only because I worked mostly on the go or at my office. Fast forward to this new home and keeping in mind my new work from home routine, I really wanted to blend together those two worlds and purposes into this new setup. I wanted a space where I could feel productive and really focused during the day. Something really light and airy and natural feeling, if that makes sense. I love a bright, clean space when I'm working because I feel like having your surroundings clutter-free will also help clear your mind and just focus at the task at hand. Especially being at home, at least for me, I find it more challenging to stay focused because there are so many distractions that may pull me away from my work. And then at night, this transforms into my dream gaming and content creation setup. The space that inspires creativity and fuels that sort of fire of doing this YouTube thing more as I take advantage of being at home more. <laughs> so it is this blend of this simpler design on one end and a whole RGB situation on the other. It's mostly a black and white palette with some pops of color with all the plants and also some minimal wood accents, which I really love. It's very much a happy place for me. So putting all of this together was a real labor of love because I deserve it. <laughs> I've already talked way too much, I'm sorry, but I'm just really excited to finally share all of this with you guys. Before we get started though, I will have most of the items linked down below, all of what I can find at least online. And if you're interested in buying anything from my setup, please feel free to use the links down below as it will help support the channel. And while you're down there, if you're into gaming content and in the future, more PC content as well, feel free to hit that subscribe button and like for more videos. <laughs> now for a closer look at my setup. So starting off on this side is probably what you're most used to seeing from my other videos. It just houses some of my gaming collection. We won't spend too much time here. I can do a collection video if that's something you may want to see. Here is the other side, which is my desk setup. On one side is my PC setup and on the other is my productivity desk, let's just call it. Sometimes I work off of my laptop so I can place that here, but I also like having an open desk space for other things like writing or little projects like my Switch or Game Boy mods. On this wall, we have these grid shelves with a collage of gaming prints from some of my favorite video games. This will probably change around very soon because I actually want to include more, but this is what we have for now. I also have a little definition of grit in the corner there. It's one of my favorite words and it also happens to be a title of a book I really like. And I mentioned earlier that I really like a bright and airy space and I feel like plants and greens really just liven up your space. Even though these are faux plants in this room, don't judge me too hard. <laughs> I just can't be bothered to have real plants here and I want them to look nice forever. They're still really pretty and I just have this little bow speaker here which I jam out to very frequently. <laughs> I love music and I listen to almost everything 
depending on the mood. Then of course one of the bigger features of this room, I love, love, love this nano leaf canvas set. You might see the triangle ones more often, but I opted for the square ones because I love the pixelated look that it gives. Some other little decor pieces over here. I have this pretty cool acrylic to-do list as well. I'm a big list person. Another motivational saying on this litter board, goals don't work unless you do, which is a great reminder. This headset and controller stand I really like because it's quite simple and goes with all the other matte black metal decor on my desk. It's currently holding a Switch Pro controller and Xbox controller and my wireless Logitech headset, which I don't use as much anymore. Tucked away behind that and my monitor is my Switch dock, of course, for my game place. Now underneath is an Alex drawer, again from Ikea, pretty much a staple in all of these desk tour videos, it seems. I do have another one I just haven't put in this room yet, but it will go on the other end of the desk. You can never have enough storage. I also have this rolling drawer cart thing, which holds gear I might need for my PC, like extra cables, hard drives, or filming stuff like extra camera batteries and memory cards. It comes in really handy because I can pretty much roll it around anywhere in the house if I'm filming outside of this room. And finally, <laughs> we've reached my actual PC setup. I have a dual monitor setup at the moment with a 27 inch and 24 inch of the same make. Again, I'll have everything linked down below if you need to reference anything. I had two 27 inches before, but it felt a little big on the portrait orientation, so I'm trying this out for now. I would like for this to eventually become a triple monitor setup though. I still have my other 27 7 inch just hiding underneath that desk. Just a lot of trial and error with my setup until I find my end game worthy setup. My monitors are installed on a mount which allows me to adjust them freely whenever I need. Webcam on top of this one, which is the Logitech C920e. I like that it has an included privacy screen for when you're not using it. I use it for all my gameplay. And then this ring light, which was actually very cheap on Amazon. I love it. Behind these monitors are these beautiful Pokemon prints I'm absolutely in love with. They are different locations in Pokemon games. It's got this almost cyberpunky style to it, which I really like. Below the monitors is this wooden tray to add that little bit of wooden accent again and it holds my Elgato stream deck and just another little succulent for color. Even though I'm not streaming for now, this comes in incredibly handy still for any quick commands. This here is the Devoom D2, the retro pixel art speaker all over gaming Instagram pages. I adore this thing. Right now it's displaying a pixel art of Ash and Pikachu from the original Game Boy games. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pokemon again, big surprise. For my peripherals, I use the Razer Arnada Chroma <laughs> version 2 and the Razer Viper Mini, which is so perfect and comfortable for my small hands. Speaking of keyboards, please tell me I'm not the only one who's fallen into a rabbit hole of mechanical keyboard videos on YouTube. I'm a huge sucker, I know, but because of that, I am going to be building my first mechanical keyboard very soon on this channel, so watch out for that if you're addicted like me. <laughs> to the right is a Himalayan salt lamp that is actually way too bright when it's turned on, so it stays off most of the time. <laughs> and this kind of big plant hiding, well, I'm really embarrassed to show you, but my atrocious cable management in the back. I haven't spent too much time on it, to be honest, because I am still moving things around, swapping monitors and peripherals constantly, so I don't want to keep redoing it. But I also have a boom arm here, which holds my new mic, the Fifine K690. It's a really good mic and another welcome addition to my setup. The quality is so impressive, and it's also a huge improvement from my previous mic, which I loved, but I couldn't even mount it on an arm, so it took up space on my desk. I love being able to check this away, but also use it to obstruct my view of the ridiculous cables along with the plant. As they say, out of sight, out of mind, so just don't look. <laughs> I will share with you my cable management on a future setup update video. My current go-to headset 
the Razer Kraken Kitty Edition and black because are you even a gamer girl if you don't have kitty headphones? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just really enjoy the RGB on this and it's just a little fun thing, you know? My chair is just this random gaming chair that I found on Amazon Canada. I unfortunately can't find a link to it anymore, but I do really like it. So I love that it matches pretty much the rest of my setup and I really like the quilted detail. It also has a footrest in the bottom and I don't know about you guys, but when I'm getting comfortable and especially at like hour six of editing, <laughs> I like putting my feet up to get comfortable, so that footrest has come in handy more times than I can count. And finally, finally, I hope you all are still watching, but onto my PC. I built this around summertime last year, fully intending to upgrade to a 30 series card by now. So all my parts are probably a little overkill compared to the GPU that I have in there. I still can't find a card, you guys, and I could buy from scalpers because I am starting to get desperate, but I just really don't want to give them my money. So I'm trying to stay patient and hope that I can get my hands on one very soon, but it is a huge part of finishing my dream PC build. So let me just do a quick pause probably highly unlikely but if any of you watching may know of a way for me to get my hands on one of these cards feel free to reach out i will seriously love you forever this is my serious face I know it's not the fanciest PC out there, but it is everything I want and need it to be. It can run all my games and do content creation, video editing, multitasking, and all of that. And it runs amazingly. I will be upgrading the storage and RAM. I also want to add white extension cables to tie it in more with my black and white setup. Maybe switch up the fan in the back to RGB as well, because why not? I know RGB isn't for everyone, especially when it gets to be too much, but I really find the lights to be calming and extremely cozy, especially when I have all the lights off in the room, which is most of the time that I'm here. Anyway, it is my very first PC build, so even though it's not nearly perfect, it's mine and I'm very proud of it. It's my baby. This entire PC setup and just room in general took months in the making, so it's really satisfying to see it come to life piece by piece and I'm excited to see where I can take it further. Gaming and tech overall has just been a huge passion of mine for as long as I can remember, so being able to put this all together all by myself makes me very happy. I really hope you all enjoyed and hope that that wasn't way too long, but again, I was just super excited to finally show this to you guys and I'm already excited to share my next update video with you. If you have any questions, leave it down below and I'd also love to hear what did you think of my setup? Do you like it, not like it? Is there anything you would like to add or change or suggest for me? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching as always. Have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Thank you.